so this feels quite strange after I think three or four years since my last video um, and obviously this is quite different to anything I've done before um, but we're going through different times at the moment <laughs> I think we're entering our ninth week of lockdown in the UK um, because of Covid um, you know it's brought up some interesting changes with people on the positive side of it people are trying things they've never done before um, people have got extra time that they've not had before and just before Christmas last year I moved into uh, this flat in the suburbs of London um, my own place it comes with a garden which I was really excited about um, and it was a little bit overgrown a little bit unloved and I've already started clearing it and planting things and just kind of at the stage now where I'm trying to decide what kind of space I want it to be in I think I really want it to be productive producing you know, veg and fruit and I also want it to be somewhere I can relax so really pretty these flowers and um, just little private areas as well um, so it's not very big I think it's about 80 square meters um, which I think is oh, like 800 square feet I'm not sure um, but after I cleared a lot of the the brambles and ivy and everything I found some really um, cute little interesting plants underneath all that I found a strawberry patch I found some really lovely roses um, and then there's this big bramley apple tree that I'm sitting under um, it needed a massive prune. I think I cut it down by more than half because it's just all, you know, interlaced with itself and most of the apples were completely out of reach and just rotting on the tree and then falling. Um, so, so yeah, I've just started on little jobs like that. Um, I'm not an expert at all when it comes to gardening. I imagine I'm going to have a massive learning curve in this first year, but I think that's what it's about. Um, I just want to try things, plant different things, see what grows, see what doesn't, see what mistakes I make and then next year learn massively from it. Um, it's a lovely suburb, there's no road that comes through here so it's quite quiet. Um, lots of bird noises as you can probably hear, squirrels running around, there's definitely some mice or vole holes that's spotted but you know it's all part of it um, I did in my last flat I did have a, a winter balcony they call it I think um, so it was an enclosed glass balcony where you could grow certain things so I was doing some container gardening last year um, tomatoes and cucumbers things like that um, but there are just certain things you can't grow in that sort of environment so I'm quite excited to get some stuff just in the ground, get some, you know, turnips and kale and um, some bigger things that I couldn't really grow in pots. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what this channel is going to be now. I'm not really going to be back to doing lots and lots of videos. I think I'll try for one a month at the beginning. Um, and even if no one watches it, I guess it's quite a good record of how the garden progresses just for me anyway um, but people might find it interesting maybe it'll be something helpful or maybe you can tell me what I'm doing wrong if you know more about gardening than me which you probably do um, so yeah I think rather than waffling on and on I'll just uh, start with my first little garden tour so it's May 2020 week nine of the covid lockdown this is the view f from the back of the garden um this is the best thing in the gardens at the moment anyway um some massive rose bush which has more flowers on it than than leaves <laughs> um it was the first thing to come into flower after the kind of spring bulbs had come up um and i love it it's really, really strongly scented. I need to find out what variety it is. Um, but yeah, it's just covered in these big, kind of peachy apricot flowers. Love it. And I think it's going to 
climb up the neighbor's bush, but <laughs> never mind. Um, I recently bought these um, three dianthus, some type of carnation. Um, I love them, a lot of people hate them. They were amongst my granny's favorite flowers, so they always make me think of her. Um, they're called peach something, but they're clearly pink, so <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that's about. And the three canes that I've got here are all Dahlia tubers cafeole that I planted, I think, ten days ago, two weeks ago. So no sign of them yet, but hopefully soon. I was obsessed with them when I saw them on um, the homegrown channel. I think Katrina is the, the name of the, the woman who runs that. This is the apple tree. It's had a severe prune. It was it was probably nearly three times higher than this. Um, you can see, I mean, they're about 12 inches in diameter. And it went up and up and up. Um, but it was just so overgrown. And now it's nice and airy. Just after I pruned it, it went into this amazing pink blossom. And now it's covered in leaves and hopefully some apples coming in a few months. And um, I'm quite into recycling and free stuff. <laughs> so I took the old apple branches and turned them into this edging for the fence. Well, fence, I call it the fence. It's like four inches high. Um, but I extended this border right out. It was just a straight border, maybe 40 centimetres. But I've kind of got this area here which I'm hoping will plant right up. So there's another rose bush here that's just come into flower. Um, pure, pure white. They don't have as strong a scent as the other one, but they still do have a, a faint scent that's quite nice. But they're just so pretty, like perfect white colour, lovely. So yeah, this is my little seed table. Um, most of these things started life in the mini greenhouse, but it got so hot in there, like 40 degrees C by day, so they've moved out here. Um, they clearly, most of them need a water, so I'll do that after I film this. Um, but I've got, whoop, I've got um, pea shoots here, um, mixed lettuce, which I think, I think I'm using really old seed or something because I've really struggled to get the lettuce to come up from that packet. Um, and then these are um, like beetroot leaves, but just for salad leaves, so I think they're called bull's blood. I've got loads of radishes and modules there. I've got kale, gosh, all sorts, chard, sorrel, spinach. These were in an unlabeled packet, but I managed to find out afterwards that they're calendula. Mystery seed I've put there, but yeah, they're calendula. Um, kohlrabi needs a water. God, I need to get them. There's no running water to the garden, which is the right faff, because I've got to run in and out of the house. So I built this raised bed a few months ago. Mm, no, maybe six weeks ago. Um, really simple, didn't know what I was doing, but actually, once you get stuck in, it wasn't too bad. Um, so, some of the things I've got here, um, that's Pak Choi on the left, Ondive on the right, and this is Mixed Rocket. Obviously had a little wobble there. Um, so I've got bush basil and some mint in pots. I'm just trying to decide where to put them in the end. Um, radishes, all the green leafy things are radishes. I've then got some um, red lettuce growing in a row there. Um, carrots. This is the mixed lettuce from the same packet. Just terrible. But anyway, I can move some of the red ones. Um, yeah, so I'm experimenting with sort of interplanting, is that what you call it? So half of this is salsify and half of it is nipper leeks, which are meant to come out when they're really young. So we'll see if that goes to plan. I've done the same here with the radish and carrot. So my, the whole kind of plan is that the radishes come up and I eat them <laughs> before the carrots get too big. So we'll see. That could be a complete disaster. I've got some better footage of this earlier when it was in the sunshine, but this is my quote unquote strawberry patch. Don't know what type of strawberry this is. I think it's just some silly little ornamental one. Sadly, it doesn't really look like a meal to me, um, but it's cute. It's got some flowers on it. Um, the plan here is courgette in the corner. I like to have some squash and pumpkins coming right down this whole kind of area. How perfect are those branches, by the way? Just like <laughs> a nice little radius on them. 
Echinacea planted in here. I don't know what that is. Came with <laughs> um, Welsh onion. I need to get better at this pointing thing. Welsh onion. And then this is some kind of current. Um, I've been using these plant apps that you kind of tells you what they are, but um, it just says current at the moment. So we'll see if that's what colour it is. And here is my little mini greenhouse. I'm not going to open it because it's not in the sun now for the rest of the day, so I want it to keep the heat in. Um, but I did get some footage earlier, which I'll show. Under the tree, I've just got a pile of some of the extra prunings I haven't used yet. Kind of leaving that as a little wildlife area. Um, and obviously I can just dip in and use them if I need to do more edging and stuff. Um, this is the kind of less pretty part of the garden. Um, some old sod there, compost. But there are some interesting plants here. Um, so we've got some honeysuckle here. Some kind of very sharp rose. I had to take a 15 minute break the other day after I got one stuck in my thumb, but there's a big... Oh, I can't see it from here. There's a yellow rose out there. And this is my ridiculous shed, which needs a bit of a, a lick of paint. <laughs> um, but it's useful to have. Um, water butt, not yet hooked up to anything. Need to figure that out. And then this whole area under here, under the tree, recently dug over and I had two boxes of like wildflower mix and um, pollinator tractor stuff. So we'll see, hopefully get lots of nice um, bees and flowers and even some of the things that are probably weeds, I'm kind of just keeping them. So I don't know what that is but it's actually quite pretty. Um, and then you've got this lovely little blue thing as well. Lovely. You know, better than nothing for now. <laughs> Actually, I've done something very weird. Oh no. Oh, I've just realised. Oh no. This was a courgette that I thought I'd plant under the tree just to see how it goes. And I just realised I was sitting on it for the entire intro to this video. So that's not going to be happening anymore. Um, but I planted... I can't remember what this is. Is that terrible? I want to say it's a verbena, but actually, I don't know if it is. I got these, um, like a set of plug plants, um, like it's some free gardener's world thing where you just pay for the, uh, the postage, you know how it goes. So that's it, quick tour of my, my new garden, and, uh, we'll see how it goes the rest of the summer, so, uh, this time next month hopefully have some um, more produce on the go and it'll start to look a bit more full and colourful and everything. Um, try not to sit on the courgette again. Um, if you have any feedback on things I could be doing differently in the garden, let me know. Um, any questions about stuff I've got here, let me know. I'll try and help if I can. I think I want to end all my videos with a little bit of plant porn, um, maybe some you know, slow-mo roses, and uh, yeah, well, we'll see how this goes.